G'day guys and welcome back to the show. Today I'm going to be doing a Chinese roasted red pork belly. Now it's something you've probably seen hanging up in the Chinese delis and supermarkets. It probably won't be as good, but it's going to be something very, very similar. Really beautiful, succulent, something you can do very easily at home or even out in the bush like we are today. You can do on the cob like I am, on an oven or even on a barbecue. All right guys, let's get on with it. Okay, so we'll just get onto the marinade for the pork. Now, it is pretty simple. There's nothing so that you probably wouldn't have at home normally. This is really easy to do when you're out and about, but honestly, marinate it before you go out. You don't have to worry about bringing all your herbs, your spices, everything with you. Do this at home. If you've got a backpack machine, even better. Otherwise, just put it in a sealed container or something, and that way, when you get to where you want to go, put it on the barbecue, and you can just set it and forget it, to be honest. Now, with all the ingredients, there's no set um, combination or the way you put it together. Just everything that's listed, just pour it all in. It's all going to be mixed up anyway. Now, there is quite a lot of salt, but you do need that for the pork. I think it's about two teaspoons by memory. So don't freak out. <laughs> it's, it's what you actually do need. You're meant to use cochineal, but a lot of people don't like using that anymore. Okay, now we'll just give this a quick sort of mix together just to combine all the ingredients. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect to be honest because it's going to marinate for quite a time. Okay, let's put that off to the side. And we'll grab the pork. Now I'm using pork belly. Um, you can use anything. You, you can use leg, you can use loin, you can use whatever you want. I just like belly. It is obviously a lot fattier, but it's got a beautiful flavour. Now you can see it is already scored, but score it on the opposite side. So when you buy it, it's scored one way. Go the other way as well. That way the marinade really gets into it. And hopefully it crisps up nice. Now, once you've done that, you can see it's all scored. Let's bring the marinade back over and just pop it in. Okay, now, when you marinate this, you'll need to marinate it for at least eight hours. Overnight, you know, is usually the go. Um, otherwise, the flavours aren't going to infuse. It won't go nice and red all the way through. I'm going to speed it up, however, using a vacuum pack machine. It does speed up the process significantly. I would still suggest doing it this way that probably four hours at least. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the way I'm going to do it. And it just, just helps me, but also it is a lot quicker. Now, if you've got one of these machines, you can get pre-cut bags. I prefer to use the ones that aren't pre-cut because then you can use whatever size you want. I will go probably a little bit too big, but it's better to be too big than too small. I'm just gonna seal the end. Yeah, so, okay, so this seals one end, as you can see. Now this will be a little bit messy. Try and jam him in. And then get in as much marinade as you can. The 
the benefit of this also is if you are going camping, you can pre-do this, take it away with you, and it's already done. You don't have to worry about having containers everywhere. Now, I won't be able to pull all the air out because it has got liquid in there. So if I start pulling everything out, the liquid will come out into the machine, which is what you don't want. So I'll get the majority of it out. And just watch it. You don't want it, the liquid to go into it. So wait till it gets about here, then turn it off. Right, turn him off. And just move it down. And that'll just seal the bag. There we go. All right, now it's all sealed. As you can see, all ready to go. The benefit of doing this is it draws all the air out. It will actually last a lot longer. In this situation, it just draws all the moisture out, pulls all the marinade into the meat, just speeds it up by, honestly, probably twice, three times. And it's just a great way of doing things. Okay, so we'll just pop him into the fridge. Say about four hours and then we'll get him on to the stove. So we'll see you then. It's nearly been four hours, so I'll get onto the cob lighting that. By the time it's all warmed up, ready to go, then we can get on with the uh, pork. Okay, that'll probably take 10 minutes or so, then we can put the pork straight in. Oh, just give me a check. Yep, as you can see, a little bit of smoke, but that's all good to go now. It's nice and hot. So we'll go across to the fridge, grab the pork out. Slice the bag open. And just put it straight on. You can see how that colour is really infused into it at the moment. We'll leave a bit of the liquid here and we can put that on later as it starts, you know, sort of going. So don't throw this out. It's been about 45 minutes, so we'll just take a bit of a look. Oh yeah, There's still a bit gelatinous on the top, but you can see it's starting to char up nicely underneath. Actually, I might even turn it over, actually. Yeah, that's good. That is normal. Because <laughs> of the sugars, it actually goes quite dark. So I don't think you've burned it, you haven't. And we'll probably give another, I don't know, half hour. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's looking heaps good. Oh, I like barbecue pork, yummy. Okay, it's been about an hour and a half now. Um, smelling really good, looks half good. Um, so we'll just get rid of all my bits and pieces here and then I'll take it off to rest. Yep. Little bit cooked on top, but it'll be good. It'll be good. So we'll just take him off. And we'll just give it a rest just for a few minutes. In the meantime, I'll just cut up some spring onions, which is really more of a garnish, but sort of cuts into the fat. All right. We'll just grab him now. He's rested. Probably five minutes. And we'll just give it some, some nice slices. If I can get through it. That oh, looks good. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll just arrange them on some spring onions. Okay, guys, there you have it. There's my Chinese inspired red barbecue pork. All right, enough of that. I think I'll give it a go and we'll see how what it's like. That was beautiful. You can actually taste the sugar, the salt, everything in there. Really nice and crispy on top. And that sort of red ring you can see around it, that's where all the flavor is. It's really, really nice. It's got a bit of a smoky flavor too from the cob. Give it a go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. That's actually bloody nice. That's really nice.